What's up, Faith Family? Jarvis Guy in the Voyager SYT here, and welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Rey Jedi Training Star Wars character card that was first introduced in 2017 in the uh, in the normal Star Wars character cards line they had going that year um, around the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi, the uh, much-beloved Star Wars film that uh, has been universally acclaimed by fans and critics alike. Anyway, I vividly remember picking this up from Barnes & Noble's way back in the day. I think I mentioned this before in a previous video, but uh, they also had a Captain Phasma car that I could have gotten. It was like right next to this one. And you know what? My, my dumb ass decided... You know what? Why don't I get the Ray car? Why don't I get the Ray Jedi training car? And that is a decision I regret it forever because this car is about six years old now. And by that logic, the Captain Phasma car is also about that old. So there is no chance that I'm going to be finding that in a while. So I'm stuck with this one. That's, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Anyway, I feel like I should also note that there is another uh, variant of the Ray character car. I think that one is called the Ray, a Rise of Skywalker car. And in terms of design, that one is basically identical to this car, except it actually has a cover on the top of it. It it looks really strange. It, it definitely does look strange, especially at the back, but that sort of crevice near the back wheel, like sort of right here, because, you know, this, this, this is not the type of car that's supposed to really have a top to it. So it really just looks sort of tacked on. I just really wanted to point that out because when I was looking this car up on the on the High Wheels wiki, the Rise of Skywalker variant is the first one that came up and I was like, oh, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. So the 2017 is obviously the superior version. But jumping into the actual review, I think overall this is a very well-designed car. I think that this car really does capture the essence of the Rey character. Now, full disclosure, I hate the Star Wars sequel trilogy. I don't like a single movie in that trilogy. I, I couldn't even finish all of The Force Awakens because it just aggravated me so much. It was it was just so stupid. No, that's not that's not much of a compliment. That's more like okay, well, you did the bare minimum. And, you know, here we are congratulating you on it because I don't want to make it seem too negative. But I, I've already ranted about the movies enough. The actual die cast for it is pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, like I said, it really does capture the essence of the Ray character. I like how they have the sort of uh, transparent headlights at the front. What I assume these are supposed to be, you know, because I, I used to think they were they were just the headlights, but these are supposed to be like the extrusions of the lightsaber because as you can see, you have an assembly here that looks a hell of a lot like a lightsaber. And if you look closely here, you can also see the same transparent blue material. I'm probably gonna have to boost the friggin' lighting um, on this episode in Premiere. But yeah, you can see the transparent blue material and it's, and it's sort of implied to stick out through the wheel, which I think is really cool. Um, the back of it, is 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 not much to speak of of course you have the ray license plate but there's really not much else it's not a very interesting back to the car but i mean honestly it, i think the overall shaping of the car and the overall design and color choices really do make up for it because i think the wardrobe the ray wears in the uh in the actual movies i think or I, re I really do dig that design or i really do dig the wardrobe choices that they made for a character and I think that was translated really well here because, you know, it really just fits with the whole desert vibe that they were going for in the movie. And I guess the sort of allusions to, to Jedi wardrobe, I guess the sort of tan color they have right here really is associated with the Jedi in the in the Star Wars franchise. And I think that was a good way of foreshadowing that. But either way, everything that was good about the wardrobe in the movie, I think that was really um, translated to the to the die cast very well. So I commend Mattel. I think they did a great job with this. And this is another wordy addition to the Star Wars character car series. Now, I will say that the Stormtrooper and Captain Phasma character cars were, were were done excellently, probably a lot better than this car. And I think the 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 new Stormtrooper and and Captain Phasma cars that they released in the same character car series, honestly, the best of the bunch and the best. Uh, character cars that I've ever seen from Hot Wheels. But you know what? You take what you can get, and this is all I have right now, um, along with the Star Wars Yoda car, which came out two years before uh, this one, actually. So kind of a different thing. But either way, if, if you see this car somewhere, I'd definitely say pick it up if you can, along with any other character cars you see. This is like the one time 
or won it a few times, I'm going to encourage you to really spend more money than you should because the Star Wars character cards are always good. It's like any Star Wars toys, like especially Lego, like Lego Star Wars toys, I really do like them. And I and I always think they're they're designed so well. It's just the sort of Star Wars design aesthetic. It translates really well when it comes to toys and, and merchandise and shit like that. I have a Star Wars shirt that I wear all the time. I have two Star Wars shirts that I wear all the time, and I don't even notice it. So that retro futuristic design that's become a lot more retro, considering that the original movies came out like what fifty some years ago. Might be I'd be wrong on that. It was it was that new show Andor when it came out, and I sort of realized because they they sort of went back to the classic Star Wars. Uh, designs that that you might have seen in the seventies, and I'm like, you know what? These these sort of futuristic designs they look really old, you know. And and I think I think that sort of old and and sort of potential future design that I guess George Lucas was going for in the original Star Wars trilogy. I think that again, it translates really well to to toy form, especially Legos. And you know, despite this being, I guess, a newer design from the newer Disney uh, shitty sequel trilogy, um, I still think this looks good. You know, it's just. You can't really miss when it comes to Star Wars merchandise. I mean, I guess you can because apparently they don't sell anymore. No, nobody buys them. I, I remember going to Walmart, I think a day or two ago, and you know the, the shelves, they were just filled with Star Wars stuff. Nobody wants to buy Star Wars toys anymore. You know, there were, there were, there were barely any Hot Wheels, <laughs> probably because right now it's like uh, like not even two or three weeks after Christmas and this, this past New Year's. But there were there were no Hot Wheels, but there were a whole bunch of Star Wars toys on the shelves. So I'm not trying to sound like one of those fandom menace guys that says, "Oh my God, Disney Star Wars is is dying because no one is buying the toys anymore." But I'm I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if kids aren't buying the toys, then who do you think are gonna watch the movies or the shows? Because they don't really release the movies anymore. Either way, <laughs> this this video wasn't supposed to turn into a uh, an asshole's appraisal of the modern star wars franchise really the whole point of this video is it's a decent car but there are better star wars character cars although that's not to denigrate the quality of this car since this is yet another um, great piece of star wars merchandise so if you're a true consumer and i will admit that i'm a bit of a consumer i'm i'm a bit of a consumer but if you are a true star wars consumer then this is definitely one to cop for your collection so either way that's my review of the 2017 Star Wars Ray Jedi training character card. That's a mouthful, but I got it right. I've been your host, Jarvis God. As always, thank y'all for watching. And as always, giggity, 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 goo. Stick around, baby.